I've been dying to show you guys this. So excited. <laughs> I got a puppy. Hey, <laughs> Meet Daisy, you guys. This is my big announcement. I am so freaking excited to tell you guys this. I've had this little one exactly a week ago from today. So I've been with her a week and I wanted to wait to like film everything because I want to make sure that she's just kind of settled in and I get to know her a little bit more before I share it with you guys. But this is my little baby. Go say hi, baby. Go say hi. Go say hi to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> she means so much to me already. She's my little girl. She's four months old and she's a toy poodle, a black, hey baby, a black little toy poodle. I never thought I'd get a, a, a poodle or a toy poodle. I feel like I'm all about rescue and I've fostered all my life. Like I can't count how many puppies and kittens and dogs and cats I've rehomed and fostered and how many dogs I've had with my parents like rehabilitated and my, my other dog that's now become my family dog because he couldn't have come up the stairs here is so old and he um, is also a rescue. Like I've had rescues all my life and with that, just like humans, like we all have our, I don't wanna say baggage, we all have our things that we're working through in this life, that we're working through in this lifetime in this universe. And a lot of rescues go through a lot of trauma and just like all of us, we have all of our things. You know, I have my things, you have your stuff that we have to work through. And I think being in the place that I am at right now in my life, I spent two months looking for a dog from a shelter. and. It was a long time coming. Like I was so particular about wanting it to be a small dog, but also I'm allergic to dogs and cats. And I thought to myself, like my mom, my mom told me, she's like, why don't you just get a poodle? Because they are so hyperallergenic. And I thought to myself, you know, I'm looking for all these different dogs in a shelter. I really want to rescue, but that's just wouldn't be right for me. And whatever is not right for you, it's not right for anyone else. So I said to myself, like, let's just look at poodles. And kid you not, you guys, instantly, the next day later that I was looking for a poodle for myself, I came across this baby girl and she's sleeping right now. Oh, look how cute. Look. Sleepy. <laughs> Can't move the camera, but she is sleeping. Yeah, I came across this little girl and I said to myself, look, like, let's just, let's just go for it. I found her in another state and um, her breeder, was actually gonna keep her. She wasn't even like thinking about rehoming her until recently. So it was like all so divinely guided. And I hope you guys know that if something is right for you, if it's God's will with your own, if you really desire something, if you really want something, if you really start to act on it and manifest it, I acted on it for two months. Doesn't mean you'll get it right away, but for two months I was diligent every single night looking for dogs that need to have a home. And I put in my heart that I was gonna get a dog and I knew it. I knew it from the get-go. I knew it when I first started in this apartment. I just knew it. So yeah, and came across her and, okay, I had to close the blinds, but you ever get that feeling where you just know something's for you? Like you stop and have a moment in time, keepy girl, a moment in time where you just say to yourself like, whoa, I remember you or whoa, is that what is supposed to be mine? I've had so many of those moments from friends to my lovers to this little baby girl. She's licking my legs. You see this? <laughs> She's so cute. And yeah, I feel like in this world, in this universe, you are a spiritual being. Like you are a child of God. And with that comes a lot of responsibility. With that comes a lot of intuitive power. And if you really sit with yourself and ask a simple question like, does this feel good for me? The first split second of an emotion or thought in your mind, that's the right answer. That's the right path to go to. And I say that very lightly because I know how hard it is to separate your intuition from what you're thinking or what you you have in your own will, you know? When we align with ourselves and what we really desire and want, you align in turn with God's will and with the universe's design. And that is how you really can tell that feeling. Like when I first saw her, I stopped scrolling and I was like, oh my gosh, that's my dog. And here she is. And the owner happened to want to rehome her because um, she had too many little fluff balls running around. So it was meant to be. And that is just so amazing when you know in your heart something that you really want and 
you finally come across it and you really show up for it, show up for yourself. Don't let doubt or fear stop you from what you really want in your life. Like, life is too short, too dang short. So your lifetime here is for a reason, for a purpose greater than yourself, greater than you could ever imagine. But if you feel called to something, then chances are there's a reason for that. Chances are that it's not by chance and it's by purpose alone. And God has God's divine hand in that. And source, universe, love, whatever you want to call it. God to me is love, divine love, true love, unconditional love. And that force was greater than anything we could ever put into words, imagine, or muster within ourselves. Because we are that drop, as Ruby says, that drop in the ocean, but also the oceans within that drop. So yeah, guys. A little tangent there, but... This is my little baby. I have all the baby talk and all the feels this past week. And she's such a good girl. She's sleeping through the night, which I did not expect. Like the first night she was a little bit restless and she wanted like out of her little setup right now. I'm gonna show you guys. But she has like a little castle and I kind of put her in there at night. And she likes it. She makes a little bit of a fuss because her past owner kept her on her bed and she's like, I don't, I wanna go in your bed. I wanna sleep at night with you. But if you do that with your dog, that's awesome. I personally can't sleep with dogs running around and like scratching in the night. So, and plus she's so tiny. I don't want her to fall off the bed. She's four pounds and like 10 ounces. <laughs> so she's so small. And she's my little girl. So I wanna make sure she's safe and calm and quiet at night. So yeah, that's what I do. I have her in her little side um, area there. And she's all her little toys and all her little setup, which I'll show you guys in a minute too. And I have my office right here and I have a baby gate so she can't get away when I have meetings and stuff because I work from home. And yeah, I wanna make sure she's like, okay, and I can see her and everything's good. But she's such a good girl. She's quiet until she's not, because <laughs> she's a puppy. So she will be calm like this. Like she's just sleeping and relaxing. And yeah, she'll she'll be quiet and calm and fall asleep and her head will just drop. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> She's so cute. And yeah, it's just it's so good to be able to work from home and have a quiet little pup. Um, she's still a puppy, so she's still wild, and I have all her toys, which I'm going to show you in a minute, everything that I got for her, but I think, just wanted to share that you guys with my number one thing, I've been dying to tell you guys, because I'm so, so happy, and I know that, I talked about this in my other video, I feel like change is really hard for me, it's like, you get so comfortable with where you're at, and I don't want that in my life, like, I want to challenge myself, I want to challenge you too, like, we're in this together, fam. Like, I don't want to live my life and be like 70 years old and looking back and be like, what did I do in my life? Oh, I was too scared to go travel that country. I've always wanted to go. Oh, I didn't really feel safe in that place. So no, that's a bad example. That's a good point. Always go where you feel safe. <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? Like, just, I don't want to stunt my growth and I don't want to not do things and show up for myself and show up for God and the universe in the way that I was designed to, same for you, you know? So yeah, even though it's been a little bit challenging adapting to a puppy in a space when you're like living alone, if you live alone right now or you've lived alone before or you're going to, it's a different experience, like living alone and then having an animal in the house. Like I love it. And that quietness is like now filled with puppy little noises and she's like so noisy. She's so much personality. She like, she's quiet, but when it comes to like playtime, I mean, she's like so full of energy and she's like really, she can get really loud, which is hilarious because she's such a quiet dog normally, see? But puppies sleep all the time anyway, so I feel like maybe that's why. But yeah, and yeah, she's been integrating really well. She goes outside pretty okay. She's still, she had one little, a couple little puppy accidents when I first got her. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. But for the most part, she's quite a good little girl. And we're working on leash training and potty training. And I think by the end of this month, she'll be in a different place. So she's growing fast. She's a toy poodle, like I said, so she won't get too much bigger. She's uh, maybe the breeder's like maybe like that much bigger. That's it. But I've always been like a big dog person. Like I love Doberman's Golden Retriever. Comment below your favorite dog breed. If you don't like dogs, then I presume you're a cat person. If you're not a cat person, let me know what your favorite animal is. Believe it or not, I love dogs and dolphins. Yeah, guys, this is Daisy Girl, and she's falling asleep now on my bruised legs. 
So I will show you guys around her little stuff when she wakes up a little bit. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to introduce her and show you guys because she's gonna be in all my videos from now on because one, I love her so much and I wanna incorporate that. And two, because she's a puppy and she follows me around everywhere. Literally, I go, to, this might be a TMI, but we're friends here. I go into the bathroom and she follows me. I go downstairs, she follows me. I go to the bedroom, I go in my bed, that's all I see. Like she follows me everywhere. And it's like, it's a good thing, but it can also be like tricky because she's so tiny. I feel like I'm terrified of tripping over her and like stepping on her. And a couple times I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to catch myself. Like she just jumps in front of you and she just loves chasing my feet, which is hilarious because I have slippers on. So make it a game and I'm just like, oh my gosh, dog, I need to walk. <laughs> but I love it, I absolutely love it. So yeah, and I am wearing pants here. Sorry, this doesn't look like it. But yeah, guys, that is the update. Let me know what you think of my little Daisy girl. I am wondering if that's a channel for her as well. Let me know if you guys would like that, if you would like Daisy content on this channel or my other channel. Um, yeah, so on this channel, Gina Marie or another channel. We'll see. But in the meantime, my little fluff is just gonna be staying with me, chilling with her little ears. I love when she does this. <laughs> Do you see this? Guys, do you see this? Oh, this is my whole heart. This is my whole heart. <laughs> she's fast asleep. I've taken her to Petco so far and she's kind of scared of dogs, which is a shame because like, I feel like at four months old, a very pivotal time to get used to other dogs and socialize. But of course, since you know, she's had all her shots and everything, but I want to make sure like she's still okay to be around other dogs and um, for both parties, you know what I mean? So I'm just a little bit cautious about that. But I think eventually, you know, here and there walking our dog over there and me over here will kind of desensitize her a bit. And I used to do dog training so much when I was a teenager. Yeah, I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy, you guys. I really am. So without further ado, let me go show you all of her things. <laughs> hey, baby girl. Okay, so here we have one toy. This is her little food area, and I put a puppy pad here because little miss thinks it is funny to dig and get that little, little tiny paw out. She thinks it's food, and I'm just like, baby, baby, no. This is this is a water dish, and that is like paint. So it's funny, but I need to clean that out. She just ate, and it's a mess. <laughs> but then I have her little pen here, so she can't do anything while mommy works. And we have her little bed. And this is actually a bone I got from her, literally from Walmart. I don't like to get these kind of artificial stuff, but unfortunately it came in the delivery and I couldn't choose. But yeah, this is one of those like little kind of food flavored ones and they can't chew it off. This is all stuck and glued within here, um, but it's still puppy safe. So yeah, it's designed for puppies and small dogs. Still kind of big though. Then she has her little puppy pad there where I put the water during the day, but we're off work now. Right little girl? Yeah. Then we go over here is little ma'am's whole corner. So this is by my bed right here and it is a mess, but this is her little toy, her teething toy from her breeder. Come here, baby girl. You are so beautiful. You are so beautiful. This is thumbnail worthy. Oh, you're so cute. She's like, look at this. Hey, 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 go get it, go get it. This is all I do, you guys. Go get it, come on, go get it. And I also have her baby gate right here as well. So that keeps her in. Come see. <laughs> She'll go right past me into her little den. You wanna show it off for you? And she played with her puppy pad about a few minutes ago. So I need to take this out, but I do have her bed from there where I work. And I put that there and I put this on the side. So technically keeping it away from where they sleep is really good, but I keep this in here because her, her breeder did that and it just kind of works for her. Of course, it's probably not the best and it won't work for every dog, but it works for her. And she hasn't used it at all. She just goes outside. So I just do that just in case in the middle of the night, which I, I still take her out um, really often, but still. This is her little blanket from her breeder. It's always good to have smells from your other puppies. Um, and you can just feel at home, right, baby girl? And then this is her little blanket. Of course, I had to make it absolutely adorable <laughs> and get that for her. Oh, wait, this is where it went. Oh, she's hoarding toys, you guys. These are all the food I put in there. Look at all this fuzz. Ready? <gasps> you want it? <gasps> Go get it. Ready? Ready? Go get it, girl. Got <laughs> that hair flying. <laughs> Come on, go get it. Bring it here. Bring it here, baby. Good girl. <laughs> so 
some Daisy content for you guys. And she likes to chew it by herself and then she'll kind of wait for me and be like, aren't you gonna come play? Aren't you gonna come play, sweet girl? So that is her little Kong. And I have highly recommend that because they can't really get into it. I have sectioned this off so it's very puppy proof. And I have that for her right there in her little bed. So right when you walk in, you kind of see all of that. And then I also am going to, once I get my couch and everything in my living room, that'll be puppy proof from the side so she can't really get in there. Uh, Cause I wanna make sure like she doesn't go behind the couch or underneath the couch. She's so tiny that I feel like I'm just terrified of losing her in this house. And I won't because I set it up in a way that's very safe, but I just feel a little bit nervous doing that. So now I'll show you her stuff I got for her. So this is all natural training treats. Um, I swear by these, this is natural balance, limited ingredients. So it's like mini rewards, but it's very healthy. And I break them up because they're so like big still. Like she's a tiny mouth, but look how big these are. Do you see this? I say that it's big, but she's such a tiny mouth that I was like, let me just break this in half because you're gonna get fat little girl, <laughs> which isn't bad. I want her to plump up, she needs to, but I just wanna make sure she's healthy. That's all that counts. So I have that, I have a few of her little bones as well. So I'm done to six bones. Then I have her leash, which I just ordered a harness and a new leash for her, an extendable one, because I feel a little bit bad just like tugging on her neck. I don't wanna do that. So I ordered a harness because her breeder came with that collar in the purple and then a purple little leash as well. So I got that for her from her breeder. And then this is her little cabinet. Look at this. It's Daisy's stuff. So this is all natural. Of course, I love natural. As you guys know, I feed myself. So you watch my previous video, you see that I always eat like kind of as clean as I can. So this is small breed puppy, chicken and oatmeal. And they're really quite tiny little kibble. It's not too big. And I got some greenies for her, for her teeth. And I got some puppy pads, of course, a staple. And I got some toothbrush kits, but unfortunately, Little Miss does not like me touching her mouth and her face and grooming, which is hard for a toy poodle. I feel like that's gonna be a lot of her life. So she kind of has to get like with it now or she's kind of in for it. <laughs> so yeah, and this is her food from her breeder. So I just have that for her um, so I can integrate her real food. All right, baby girl. Uh, so she doesn't get a tummy ache. You wanna come see hi? Come see hi. Come see hi. Go see hi. Oh. She doesn't want to come say hi. I got her these. These are so helpful. They're called grooming ripes, but they're biodegradable. They're all natural because I love all natural stuff, as y'all know. And this is like the ingredients. So just like obviously they away their eyes and stuff, but it's like made with aloe and it's just so good for her paws and her little butts when she comes in from pooping and peeing. I her this little leash, but it is so like almost hard to pull. I can't do this with one hand with the camera, but it's almost like hard to pull. So I'm wondering if I should just give it back, but it is really cute. And I think it will match her harness. I'm gonna get such a tiny little neck that I just don't want to keep pulling on that. show you guys this. This is her little baggie. Look how freaking cute. This is her purse, I call it. And it has a little chain right there so you can hook them in, but I don't really have to do that. She just stays. And there's little buttons that you can kind of like add in. Um, this is all fuzzy, I need to wash it. This has all been dragged around, but yeah, she just goes in here, she loves it. And you have these little kind of things that you can fold um, over, but she doesn't really need that. There's a little pouch there, I can put my phone and everything in treats. And it is so cute, and it just like goes over my shoulder. I'll insert a little photo. This is her little donut that she is shredding. She loves this. That is her Kong, she lives by that. And she also has, let me show you, bring the donut. She has these little toys as well, the teething toys. And this is so good for little puppies. I highly recommend you guys. And it has a little plastic, so it's very hard for her to rip these off. I haven't seen that yet. She absolutely adores this. It's good. I also got all of these for her. So this is a flea comb, obviously, but it also has, like, it's very kind of small for little small puppies. This is way too big for her. Didn't realize that. It came in and kind of a set, all of this stuff. Um, this is really nice to kind of go in her eyes as well, but you have to be careful about the angles. This is what I'm looking forward to. You see that? It's very thin. It can go perfectly on her little face, her eyes, and then it has a little tiny brush on the side. And this is for her little booty whenever she goes potty and she gets mm, stuff stuck in her fur because that is real with poodles. Um, but yeah, I think this is really nice little grooming set, first set. So I need to get her other like shaving tools and stuff still, but I think it's adorable. Guys, so, uh, look at that sun. Oh my goodness. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. 
and I can promise you now you'll see more Daisy content. Doing right now, playing with a retreat, so I better go. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining the family, and thank you just for all your love. Like I love having a channel where everyone feels supported and loved and seen, and just like being real. Like I always want to keep it real with you guys. Like be real, be you. The world needs you, or else you wouldn't exist. Yeah, and I will see you guys very soon. Thanks guys. all the puppy cuts. I had to incorporate some, you guys. She's so cute. Look, look. She got a little scratchy. <laughs>